Today, I want us to look at how to make liquid soup. So in this video, I am going to show you a step-by-step -step yet simplified approach to make your own dishwashing soup home. I do this all the time. If you've been following me for a while now, you realize that every year I post a video on dish washing soap and then in the next video we are going to be making fabric softener yeah so it's going to be a homemade fabric softener without any further ado let's start with the lesson so I'll first introduce you to the ingredients and first of all I have the base the base this is how it is always packaged this one is one kg then you come here you have salt yeah you'll be surprised but salt is used in making soap so you either go for the the refined one yeah which is the 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 smooth type or you go for the rocky type this is 900 grams but then I will use this one. I don't know the grammage though. But the reason why I'm going for this is the difference in price. And this one also boosts the thickness. Yeah, it increases the volume for me. You come here, you have a thickener and booster powder. Thickener and booster powder. One of them looks like rice. I think it's this one, the booster. They have a type that looks like rice. I bought these because I don't know where you buy yours from. And when you go new and you tell them you want the set, you are likely to be given these things. So if I don't use them in this, you might be found wanting. That is why I bought it. Nonetheless, I will use them then we have a thickener and booster liquid and then i also have glycerin the glycerin is optional this is the, the the second time i am using glycerin in my liquid soups so i have here another booster and thickener but i am showing them to you for you to know the consistency you see this one i bought it it wasn't even expensive. I got these last year and I got these this year. But this one, which wasn't expensive, was a bit, a little bit thicker. It's not worth simple. It's a little bit thicker than this one. Can you see the difference? <laughs> but we move. So that is what I have to say about this. Then you will need a perfume. So I'll talk about the perfume later then lastly you will need a color so these are colors yellow and green they are food colors guys i am not too well but then i would do my best with the voice over i began by soaking the salts in water for it to dissolve if you have the muscles you can add it to the base and stay. So the base, I am using one third of the one kg. The salt solution by the side looks soapy because I washed the nylon which had the base in it. I am adding everything up into the base in the bucket. I mean the powder of the thickener and the booster and the liquid as well my dear don't forget to wear a nose mask when you are doing this and also in stirring do not stir both clockwise and anti-clockwise if you are going clockwise go through clockwise or anti-clockwise do it that way i learned that if you go 
clockwise and anti-clockwise it's going to be watery so as you stir you add in the water gently i said gently because if you pour it in ta -ta 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 like that it is going to make it super foamy by that i don't mean it will it will mar or disturb the consistency it will not have any negative effect but pull it will be too for me that you 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 might think say it is spoiled that is why i'm giving that advice <laughs> lastly if you have a macho man or woman around this is their 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 the time for them to show their talent uh-huh it calls for muscles or you can use a cake mixer if you don't mind as you exert pressure on the stirring it increases in volume yeah that is the trick so if you don't have the muscles you can still try it gently you will not have enough let me tell you you will not have enough guys at this point uh, i realized okay he was in use i was running on a low battery <laughs> so i added the color and perfume at this point the perfume i went in with madagascar and one other that i do not know the name i will throw more light on the perfume in the fabric softener video which will come up next after this and the color I blended colors green and yellow to get the lemon green. I forgot to use the glycerin and I also did not add a preservative because I have decided to be making it every quarter. It will not sit long on the shelf so there is no need for me to buy or waste money on a preservative so I covered it and let it sit for three days and after day three this is how it is and guys I love I love the refreshing nature of the perfume I used in this video my fellow woman or brother in christ <laughs> this thing sounds funny in most ghanaian homes i don't know about you from the other parts of the world when my mother buys a liquid soap she expects it to last a year this bottle she will expect it to last a year so she will pour a small amount and add one bucket full of water if you are familiar with that say hello in the comment section my dear when you start making your own ah, you are going to love it you are going to you are going to love it secondly you are not going to throw away money i did not spend up to 50 cities on this but then i am happy at the results i have gotten at the end of the day until i grace your screens with another video which is going to be on the fabric softener hopefully keep hope alive and also do not forget to subscribe and put on your notification bell for future alerts on upload <laughs>